So I've been telling you guys how baller this place is. Look at this. There's orange juice in like the little cartons from elementary school. There's, we have like a chocolate chip muffin and then a pure chocolate muffin. In the other bag, we have a croissant. That's not actually a croissant, I don't know what that is. I don't know what to call that piece of roll. Um, we got some uh, easy digestion. Is this a laxative? Delactomy? No, it's yogurt. Oh, it's yogurt? Okay. That would be weird for breakfast, right? Um, then we also have some cream cheese and some more yogurt. So that's crazy. They literally didn't even have to do that. That was never told that it was part of the experience. Uh, even the owners of this place came and hung out with us last night. I was editing last night's vlog and they were like asking me about YouTube and stuff because neither one of them really deals with computers that much. Obviously, why would you when you live on the beach all day? So it was, uh, it's pretty cool and we have an awesome day planned. So what do we have planned today, Chels? I don't know. I really don't. I don't she has it. absolutely no clue, and this is probably the best day of the vacation, I think. Hopefully it works out, and like it, it seems like it very well could be, but we'll see. Do you have any ideas, any guesses? I know it's outside, because you asked me to wear a bathing suit, and it's not something crazy, because you said it didn't have to be a bathing suit that was like super supportive. That's all I know. Yeah, she like I told her, like wear a bathing suit, and she's like, do you want one? that will stay on and I'm like, hell no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I hope you're being honest about that. Huh? I hope you're being honest about it. it's not something like crazy that's gonna make it come up. Oh no. Like, I, you guys are in for a treat. This, this I got you. <laughs> the struggle for you guys right now, we have 11 minutes left on the vlog. We wanna get to the beach, but we don't wanna check out of this room until that's done uploading because I don't know where we're gonna find internet otherwise. So hurry up, YouTube. So this was one of the places that I really wanted to try flying the drone. And our goal was to get up super early this morning and do it before a lot of people woke up. We kind of failed that. We didn't wake up until nine. But if you look, I mean, there's a lot of wind, man. I've flown it once at home in Florida. So I'm not that experienced with it. So I'm just, I'm kind of nervous to fly in all this wind because I don't want to see it just get carried away. We might try it and keep it low, but we'll see what happens. Guys, I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear me over this wind, but unfortunately I think it's, you can use her hair as like a, what are those called, a wind sock? Let's see how strong it is. I think it's too strong for a drone. Uh, where we're going later today though, and I'm sorry if this is really windy. Where we're going later today, hopefully we can use it. We'll see what happens if we can find like a little area where it's not quite as open, but the wind just whips through here and I don't want to, I don't want to lose it. So sad, sad moment. We are leaving this place. I usually won't like do this kind of thing, but I'm actually Ocho's Bungalows. I'm gonna link the like Airbnb down in the description. I doubt many of you guys are gonna just happen to be in Costa Rica anytime soon, but if you guys ever get the opportunity, it's a fantastic place. No, this isn't sponsored by them or anything. It's just, it was like literally one of the coolest places I've ever stayed with some of the nicest people I've ever met. So I'm honestly like super bummed that we have to leave, but we're going to something fun this afternoon. So uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. We've got about a, uh, a 30 minute drive and uh, it's gonna be awesome. We made a little pit stop at one of the street vendors. She does amazing artwork, so we got three pieces. This long one that we have wrapped up is a wave. This one is for my mom. Actually, shoot, she's probably watching this video. Yeah, mom, I got you something. You're welcome, love you. Um, and then this one is like this really cool, super modern naked girl. It's not like a funnel, it's like from behind. And she has like, she's like pulling her like, bottoms down but it doesn't show anything but it's just like a super chic modern thing thing that'll look really good in the house so i'm pretty excited about it we're on our way to the next adventure though all right guys we are here she still has absolutely no clue what we're doing oh. i did slip up a little bit and i was like 
what are we gonna bring on the boat? I, I mean, uh, and it was, it was already too late. <laughs> so she knows there's something to do with the boat. Yeah. What do you think it is? I don't, I don't know. I told her we're either going deep sea fishing or uh, shark cage diving. So you guys will see what happens. We just got done with that little sailing adventure. It was a lot of fun. What'd you think, Chels? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It, it was, was so nice. It, like, I wasn't really sure what to expect, and honestly, it wasn't the best day to sail. Like, it was very <laughs> windy and choppy, <laughs> and we didn't even get in the water. What's so funny? Nothing. Do I have funny hair or something? No, you're just... Do I look like a lobster? Just your neck, your nose, and the side of your eye. <laughs> you just have, like, sunburn? patches. Anyway, <laughs> so the whole thing is, is like, you have this, like, it's a captain and two mariners, I don't know what you call them. Mar marinas? Marinas, Mar or marineras? Um, and, and basically, like, they take you out for a couple of hours. You sail around, you um, anchor the boat somewhere, you snorkel and swim, they'll make you lunch, you come back, and it's like this super awesome thing. They do it in the mornings and they do it for evenings, so we did the evening one where we could see the sunset and stuff. It was fantastic. It was a little bit windy and a little bit choppy. We didn't even do any of the snorkeling because you wouldn't be able to see anything, but um, it was still, I really hate you. It was still really, really cool. And. So the deal is, is there were two options that we had. This morning we could have done a private one where it was just Chelsea and I on this 50 foot boat, which I thought would be cool and kind of romantic, but then I was like, you know what? That might be like a lot of boat for two people. Like that might be kind of awkward. And uh, so I was like, we'll do the evening one where we're gonna see the sunset, but we're gonna split it with other people up to 12 other, or up to 10 other people. It's up to 12 people total. And so I was like, you know, I feel like that'll be more fun if we get a good group and we ended up getting a fantastic group. There were a, guy, a group of guys from Colorado who were all like EMTs and firefighters and stuff and they were just a lot of fun. They're just, they're good dudes. Like it was a thing where if we would have had a bad group, it probably wouldn't have been a good time or it would have been just a decent time, but we had a fantastic group. We had a lot of fun and uh, you know, it was you know, open bar and, and they made chicken tacos and stuff and it was they're just it was a really good time. Huh? They were yummy. Oh, they're really yummy. So now what we're doing, it's 6.30 p.m. We're driving down to Haco, which is like, essentially like the Las Vegas of Costa Rica. It's like the super Americanized, super crazy, lots of partying like type place. And that's where we're meeting up with some friends for the rest of the week. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing daily vlogs. I don't know if there's gonna be enough stuff. Really what the next few days are gonna be are just hanging out on the beach, surfing, because Haco has fantastic surfing and just kind of relaxing. So this, we'll probably do at least one more vlog. I don't know if it's gonna be daily from here on out, but um, this could be the end of today. We have a four hour drive ahead of us and it's 6.30 p.m. We've been out in the sun all day, so I'm pretty tired. Chelsea might have to take over it at some point, but um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and uh, we'll see you guys later. You're so cute. Bye. <laughs> all right guys, so we're looking pretty good so far. We're about another hour or so away from Hako. And, uh, Chels, what's wrong? I just really have to pee. <laughs> she has to pee so bad. There's nowhere to go. And you guys know these Costa Rican roads are very bumpy, so obviously that's not helping. She's had to pee for a while. We've been looking for like a non-super sketchy restaurant slash bar for her to go at. We haven't found anything, so we think our best bet is to make it all the way to Hako where Obviously, it's a little bit more Americanized. We might be able to find like a Walmart or something, but you doing all right, girl? <laughs> no. You know, one of my favorite things that we've done so far on this trip no, is when I don't know. we went to the La Fortuna waterfall because there was just like that giant. Cry, 
the, the release that that river must feel with Please. all that water flowing. Please, it physically hurts. I feel like I'm having a baby. <laughs> There's so much water in there. It's like the water around a baby and it's gonna break. Just stop. What do you know, Costa Rica, we're on another random dirt road going up the side of a mountain. This time it's just a mountain, not a volcano. So we made it here to Jaco. This is actually Playa Hermosa, which is just down the street from Jaco. Um, we stopped in Jaco and ate at like essentially a Hooters. It was like the Costa Rican version of Hooters, which was awesome. Don't tell Chelsea. She was actually checking out their butts too. But anyway. They weren't great. No, they were very, like, Two out of ten, maybe. It was like an American flag flapping in the wind. Like it was, it was really weird. Like she wasn't bad looking, but her butt was just like, it was. Anyway. Anyway, it was like a, a when you hang a okay. sheet on a clothesline and it's blowing in the wind. That's what it looked like. Anyway, so we're going up to this place and it's gonna be baller. All right. So I'm not really sure what to expect. I saw two different options for this. You could either rent out the whole house, you could rent out one room. The whole house was like 500 bucks for the night. One room was 120 for the night. So obviously I chose one room because that's all we need. Um, but wait till you guys see the view. Unfortunately, you guys aren't going to see the view until tomorrow's vlog. So you guys are going to have to tune back in for that. But that's the entire reason why I got this house. This was just like, I mean, obviously it's 11 o'clock PM. We're going in there. We're going to sleep. We're going to wake up. We're going to leave. And go to the beach so it's it's just kind of like a quick place to crash but i just i wanted to to get it for the view and plus like 120 bucks i don't think you could find a hotel for that cheap around here so this is terrifying because i have no clue how far down on the right that is that could be hundreds and hundreds of feet chelsea and i were just watching rally car racing on uh fox sports and hooters what do you think girl just don't like stop. <laughs> Not funny. You've been crazy all day with your driving. Where do you think we go? Up or down? Uh, Probably up. He's at all the way up the mountain. Yeah, and everybody like he's like, go up the mountain eight to ten minutes, you'll see a wall. And it's like, what? Eight to ten minutes? What kind of a like go all the way up the mountain? Um yeah, what yeah. kind of measure of distance is that? Eight to ten minutes, you got it, bro. I think that might be it up there. He said a peach colored wall. That looks like a peach colored wall to me. We made it, boys, to the top of Mount Chiliad. Holy cow, look at that view. Tomorrow's gonna be insane. Oh my gosh. All right, so he said go through the gate and just close it behind you. Don't feel the need to lock it. Um, Pero Bravo. Beware of dog, but go ahead and open the gate. Let's see what happens. Can you get out and open the gate? Absolutely not. This road gives me the heebie-jeebies. She thinks Bigfoot's gonna get her or something. That's intimidating and scary. Oh, I hate dirty, wet sandals. Oh, that's really fun. Hey, if I don't come back, I'm gonna tell you my YouTube password right now, okay? You're not. I want you to upload a final video. I want you to upload this video. I want you to find it. If I get attacked by Bigfoot right now, I want you to upload this. I'm more scared about their Pedro Bravo. <laughs> I see the lock on there. Hold on. We're going to jimmy this thing open. There's nothing on the other side that's going to get me, is there? Boom. Are we good? I sincerely, like, I sincerely hope that there are no other houses with peach walls. I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully this is the right place. All right guys, so we made it. This place is really, really cool. I don't even want to spoil it for you guys yet. Wait till you guys see it tomorrow. You can't even see much right now, honestly, and it definitely wouldn't be picked up on the camera. So tomorrow is going to be absolutely insane. Can't wait to wake up here. This is our little humble abode. It's just kind of like a little studio thing. Bed, bathroom, kitchen. Boom, there you guys have it. So we're going to head to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Costa Rican filled fun. Peace out. What's your major problem? Okay, well, I woke up this morning and I had, you can't really see, but I had a bug bite. And it's really bad. And I've just found another one. <laughs> it's on my butt right here. <laughs> that bug bite booty. <laughs>